Okay, so 7.3 is about proving triangles are similar. Okay, so let's talk first about the differences between congruent and similar. So congruent, um, first off, uses this symbol, and we know that. Similar uses this symbol. Now, in order to prove um, that triangles are congruent, we have side, side, sine. We have side, angle, sine. We have angle, side, angle. We have angle, angle, sine. And we have hypotenuse leg. So all of those prove that uh, triangles are congruent. Similar... We have AA, and this is how I write this. I just want you guys to watch this. We only need to write angle, angle, because we know the third angle will be congruent because of the 180 minus um, thing. All of them add up to be 180. So we only need to write two A's. So the way I remember this is I take that third A, and I put it here, and I surround it with S's. And then my last one is SSS. So we have AA, angle, angle, we have side, angle, side, and we have side, side, side to prove similar, okay? So congruent means that all the sides are congruent and all the angles are congruent. Similar means that the sides are proportional um, and angles are congruent. Okay? All right. <clears throat> so what these means is if I have two angles that are congruent, I know I have similar triangles. If I have a sides that are proportional, then an angle that's congruent, and then a side that's proportional, I know I have similar triangles. If all three sides are proportional to all three sides of the other triangle, I know I have similar triangles, okay? So, and this is the way we check, side, side, side. We say, oh, A, B, over DE, BC over EF, and AC over DF. We check the proportions, okay? So let's look at an example. <clears throat> this is a short, quick one, by the way. So are these similar? So we have to make sure we're doing the same sides, though. Oh, goodness. Um, AB and DE. So AB is 3, DE is 4.5. And if you look here, this is the smallest side, has to, be re has to relate to the smallest side. And then the next side, BC and EF. BC is 4 and EF is 6. So that's the middle side, right? And then, of course, the longest side would relate to the longest side. All right, and so let's check. If we check these, uh, you can put them in your calculator and get a decimal. Um, I'm just going to, if you get a fraction, you get two-thirds equals two-thirds equals two-thirds. So all the proportions are the same. So, yes, these are similar by side, side, side. All right. <clears throat> so this one's a little different. And if you look at the triangles, it says PQS, which is the big triangle, and RQP, all right? So let's write them. Uh, so I'm going to write another one out here. RQP. Uh, Whoops. R, 
P, Q. So this is 18, and this is 12. And on this triangle, this side, QR, is 27, right? So I know that PQ is to RQ, okay? So PQ is 18, and RQ is 12. And then the other side I have is QS. QS is 27, and it matches to QP, so QP 18. So even though they're not in the same location, this matches to this. This one matches to this one. Okay, you got to pay attention to that. Um, and you can simplify these, or you can also use cross multiplication, and that's what we're going to do most often. So 18 times 18 equals 12 times 27. And they it's 324 is equal to 324. And so I know, yes, these are congruent because I have side. I have the angle. See, I know this angle is congruent to this angle. And then I have side. Okay, so is ADB, uh, I'm sorry, is ADE congruent to ABD? Not congruent, similar, I'm sorry. Um, so we're looking, we're looking here at this one, ADE, and this one, ADBD. So we want those two. And if we look, it has to be side, 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 doesn't it? If it's going to work, it's going to have to be side, side, side. So let me do it over here. So this is number A. Has to be side, side, side because I don't have any angles between those two. And let's look. Where's the smallest side? Oh, <clears throat> I know that this has to go to this, right? Because just the same way. So 1.8 over 2.4 has to equal 1.8 over 2.4, which I know. And then the last side, okay, would be this is the longest side of this triangle to the longest side of that one. So 2.4 over 3.2. And if we look at it, we can see AD of this triangle matches up to AB of that triangle. So the 2.4 over the 3.2. And if we check these, they all, whoops, are 0.75 or 3 fourths. So yes, by side, side, side. Now, if we look at B, and I'm going to erase all this over here. If we look at problem B, <clears throat> it says is ADE similar to B, uh, D, C. All right, so now this would have to be side, angle, side, because I, I know I have an angle, right? And if I look... Here, on the one side, I have DE is 1.8, and it matches to DC, 1.4. Then I have that blue angle, right? And then I have this side, AD, which is 2.4, and it has to match to BD, which is 2.4. So I'm just going to check these proportions. I'm a, I don't need that angle there. Um, I'm going to set them equal together and see. If I cross multiply this, I get 1.8 times 2.4. If I cross multiply this, I get 1.4 times 2.4. 
And I know that doesn't work. So no, those are not similar. Okay, so now what we're going to do is find mn, find x. So there's a lot of ways to set up proportions, okay? So I'm going to say x, you could do it as x flat side is to flat side as slanted is to slanted. And then I cross multiply 75x equals 10. So x equals 7.5. Now you also could have said <clears throat> flat is to slant as flat is to slant. And if you see, your cross multiplication stays the same, okay? All right, <clears throat> so this one, it says, um, we need, the tower can't be more than 50 feet. So I need to find the height of the tower. So you could do shadow is to height as shadow is to height. Or you could do shadow is to shadow as height is to height. I mean, and, and if you see, all these cross multiplication are the same. So 5x equals 240. So x equals 48. And it is less than 50, so <clears throat> we're good to go on that. Um, all right, so I have this here problem, and it's from the homework, because I need uh, to make sure you understand here. We've got feet, and we've got inches, okay? But you can't do proportions unless it's all the same unit measurement. So what I need to do is have just complete inches, okay? So if I change this, I get 24 inches here, and 5, 4 would be 5 times 12, 60 inches plus 4 gives me 64 here. And then this pineapple would be 8 times 12 is 96 plus 9 is 105. So now I can do shadow is to height as shadow is to height. And when I cross multiply, and then divide, I get 280 inches. And then if I divide that by 12, I get 23.3. Twelve inches and a foot. So I need to do that in order to help with the homework because there'll be some in this. All right. That's it.